hey welcome again to my channel Today we are going to be making the Nigerian Egusi soup and this is a special request for those who are allergic to fish. So there is no fish anything in this one. No crayfish, no dry fish, no stock fish. So let's go. Here I have my mixed, um, my grounded tomato paste and tatashe and all of that. And here I have my Egusi already mixed and here I have my onions, chopped onions and here I have my goat meat that I already prepared which is not difficult to do but i had to cook that first just to save us some time here i have my oziza seed and here i have my fresh habanero pepper and also we have our ogiri so we have this ogiri and then i also have my palm oil on there so let's go ahead and get this party started of course salt my no cube So in a clean pot, you are going to be adding your your palm oil. I will definitely be giving you guys, when I'm cooking, I will be honest with you. I already know what I'm doing. So I barely use any measurements. But I, I can, you know what we call eyeballing? I eyeball it. I already know. I can give you like an estimate. This is a measurement you will use and trust me, you will get exactly the same result. Yeah, that, that's how good I am. Okay. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, I am going to be adding my igusi in the oil. This is the frying method, by the way. So yeah, this is like my best method. I love this method. So you're going to be mixing everything together. Mix it until you can no longer see the separate oil on there. And then you will cook this for about, you know, you will try to cook it and always make sure you're stirring, you know, turning it to avoid um, it burning. And also make sure it's on low heat low to medium heat you don't want it high and just burning all over so yeah you're going to cook that for about 10 to 20 minutes and then in a separate pan i put in a little bit of palm oil and i'm going to be prepping my tomato paste so here i am pouring in my tomato it has um red one red bell pepper it has about four tomatoes and then you can now add in your habanero fresh habanero pepper in there so i'm just going to cook that as well for about 15 minutes so i'm just on this particular video i'm actually using two different you know burners to cook so on here i added my no cube and I'm also making sure to turn my igusi so it doesn't burn. And you can see this pot is actually very nice because it helps. Because I know whenever I cook igusi, it's always burning. Like it was kind of like a little bit, but because of the pot that I use. But this pot is so non-stick and good. Listen, I like it. So yeah, so once that is done, you're going to go ahead and place get your igusi out of the pot and then we are going to be needing this goat meat um the stock so i just poured it in there so i can get the, the stock and then i took out the meat because it's already cooked and you don't want to overcook it so in here i added my ogiri and then i added the tomato paste that i cooked and then this particular igusi i want i want it to be lumpy so i am going to be adding the igusi just gently into the pot in lumps you know as you can see what i'm doing in the video i am going to be adding it gently like that because i just want it to have that you know the lumpy igusi that people like so it's just i just have different methods of cooking igusi i can do whatever like i can cook any method that I feel like cooking on that particular day, I can just do it. So this is me adding my lumps just to make sure. And you don't have to, you don't stir it. Once you are done adding it in, just cover your pot and leave it to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then you're going to gently try to stir it. And also just for everything to mix together and then cover it again and also still cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. Here I am adding my oziza seed. You know, you just add your things 
gradually and like i told you guys from the beginning we are not going to be adding anything fish i actually got this video request one year ago ah uh, real life happened and i wasn't able to make more videos you know i had to take a break from youtube and all so i am i hope that she sees this video or she still needs this video whoever commented you know requested this video I just hope that she's still <laughs> it's still going to be you know um important to her so i just hope it still helps her out so now i added back my goat meat because we are done cooking now and then you're just going to add in your your spinach the what i use is spinach you can use um other leaves but i just use spinach so you can add that in and then make sure you turn off the stove because you don't want your leaves you know to overcook you want everything to look fresh and then we are going to go ahead and serve that i hope you guys enjoyed this video for more videos like this do go ahead and click that red subscribe button click on the notification bell so you get notified each time i post a new video and this you have my my people you have your delicious nigerian egusi soup the best of the best okay Make sure to subscribe, like, share this video and I'll be seeing you guys in my next one. Bye!